Hi guys, Sean from Optics Warehouse. So today we've got the Schmidt & Bender Polar T96. This is a four to 16 by 56. And this particular model is the second focal plane. They also do this available in a first focal plane reticule. And the way to distinguish these, if you see the specs on the website, you'll see a D7 or an L7. So a D represents a second focal plane reticule and an L represents a first focal plane reticule. So this particular model, or this model range, boasts 96% light transmission. It's meant to be the highest light transmission of any rifle scope on the market. And Schmidt and Bender released this around three years ago, and it's been quite a popular seller. We haven't done much ourselves personally with these. However, we've had a recent deal in which has brought these to our attention, and we feel um, due to sort of the popularity of this this particular model, uh, we thought it'd be quite a good video to do just to run over the basic features and also explain to you sort of just why this model is very popular for a lot of hunters out there. So it has a fast focus diopter adjustment, very easy, exactly what you want to see on the hunting scope, plenty of adjustment on it as well. As I said, it's second focal plane, it's represented on the eyepiece and it's a 4 to 16 by 56 and it's the model the polar t96 again move forward onto the uh, magnification ring it's a 4 to 16 perfect for any kind of stalking any kind of hill hunting and even a little bit of range work as well because as you can see we do have an external bdc turret but if we move slightly backwards we have the illumination again located on the side of the rifle scope on the left hand side watch out the left handed shooters because sometimes depending on the height of the rings your bolt throw for left handed actions can hit this and this is worth noting on the PM2s and any kind of Schmidt and Bender that has this illumination on the side as we have had units go out to customers they've tried to mount it and straight away they realize that they can't so worth bearing in mind but it's 11 step illumination 11 being the brightest and it starts at zero and flicks up through the settings and you don't have an on off setting between each number so you would have to to get back to the off setting back it back down down to zero it has a 34 mil main tube so this is what starts to differ it from the zenith the classics and the stratuses and this 34 mil main tube just helps give you that internal adjustment and also with this 96 percent light transmission it just helps to bring in that li little bit more light to be honest it's a bit of a myth allowing that more light in by having a larger tube those larger tubes are designed for more of internal adjustment but I believe Schmidt and Bender have potentially just paired this with a 34 mil main tube just to get the correct glass in there to really give you that high, uh, high transmission of light. Move forward, it's side focus adjustment, nice and easy, simple, smooth, very sleek, comes down to 30 meters, so you could even use this on rim fires and right out to infinity and it's marked through 500 to 800 to 1000 then to infinity we move on to the top elevation it's a single turn asv style turret and this is the newer style of bdc asv hunting turret that schmidt offer as you can see it has this little lever system here and it's nice and easy you see it on the new double turn two turrets with the locking turn um, with the locking turret system and it's just simple leave and move backwards and forward so as you can see that is now locked simply push it round and our turret turns and we've got that both on the windage and we've uh, simple again single turn locked and it allows movement there the windage is marked with R and L just for simplicity and allows the shooter to know exactly what direction they're turning the turret both turrets are 0.1 mil rad clicks or centimeter clicks uh, keeping it nice and traditional in the european fashion as you can see very nice sort of flare into the objective 
these scopes are incredibly aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It takes that sort of stratus eye um, objective. And as you can see, it flares out from the 34 mil main tube into that objective of the 56. So that sort of runs over this model. As I said, this model range is available in first and second focal plane. And we also do have the different magnifications in this. So you have in the T96, a two and a half to 10 by 50, and you also have a three to 12 by 54. And we do actually have them in stock as well. But if you want some further information on these, we have got them all listed on the site. That would be able to give you sort of the main specifications, the field of view, etc. And if you want any sort of extra help, you can always drop us a call, comment below on the videos, and we'll come back to you straight away. This is Sean from Optics Warehouse. See you later.